Hello everybody, the Hardy here. Today I'm gonna show you how to create your own 7 days to die dedicated server. So let's do it. Subscribe. Before we begin, I wanna say that it isn't a free method. You need to pay for VDS server. It's a special PC where we will keep our server. But if you wanna play uh, with your friends for free, I'm not sure that this service is free. You need to ask your provider of the internet. So. I also have a website where I wrote an article how to make a dedicated server. Uh, you can also open my site. Just go to the thehardy.com site. And here I didn't uh, set up any certificates yet. I will fix it in the future. But now we need to click at advanced and continue to thehardy.com. Here you will find uh, that we have four games, but it works only one uh, yet. So we need to click at this game and here you will find a tutorial how to set up your server. So I'll open it in my other page and um, we will use this article as well. So let's do it. I found a hosting that called friend hosting. Here we can buy VDS. So uh, the link will be in the description and on my site you can click at this link hosting. All right, we are on the main page of this hosting, we need to click at VDS and progressive SSD VDS. For seven days today, the minimum requirements is uh, at least four gigabytes of RAM and 20 gigabytes of hard disk space. So uh, we need to buy at least this VDS and uh, we need to click at order. Uh, I already in my account and uh, I already bought a VDS but you need to choose any locations that you want. You say it's a little bit expensive than Bulgaria, Czech and uh, etc. And uh, here we need to click at without the control panel and we also will use Ubuntu. It doesn't matter which version will you choose, it can be Ubuntu 22 or Ubuntu 20. All right, we need to click at order now. Oh, by the way, yes. We need to click at these checkboxes to accept the conditions. I don't want to automatically renew all my order, so I click at order now. And here you can choose any uh, payment methods that you want to pay. All right, after it, you will find uh, this panel. Just click at my orders. Uh, I don't want to pay for it. I already bought a VDS. So after you made an order, you need to wait for some minutes. It can take about 20 minutes or less. So after it, you will be able to go to the server management panel. Just click at this button and you will see these um, settings. To connect to our VDS server through SSH, we need to install VDS uh, client and server. To do it, we need to press Windows button and then type uh, features. Uh, here you will find apps and features button. We need to click at this button, then optional features. And uh, if you already have it, uh, you need to type SSH and I already have it so I can see it. But if not, let's delete it and um, let's check it. Uh, I click at add a feature, uh, type SSH. And like you see, we have open SSH server. So we need to install it and uh, we need to wait while it's uh, loading. We need to install both of these programs, OpenSSH client and OpenSSH server. And after it, you will be able to connect through the SSH. All right, perfect. Uh, let's open command prompt on Windows. We need to open this command prompt uh, to connect our VDS. Or if you are uh, using Linux or Mac, you need to open your terminal. To connect our VDS, we need to type SSH um, then our username, that's root, um, this symbol, and our IP that we can find in the main control panel. Uh, then we need to press enter, but we won't uh, connect to our VDS. The reason why is because uh, the default port of SSH is 22, and we need to switch it into our port SSH that uh, hosting provides us. So let's do it. Uh, before root, we need to type a dash P free, 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 and hit enter. Uh, this will uh, connect us to uh, our VDS server. So let's wait. 
press enter and yeah uh we get the message we got the message that uh, are you really want to continue connecting we need to type yes and hit enter perfect now we need to uh, type the password the password sent to my email so i can just copy it and paste it into my uh, command line so let's do it uh, to insert the password you need to click uh, right click and uh, it will paste your buffer so hit enter and we have connected congratulations or i'm not sure that i pronounced it right anyway after we connect it we need to install steam cmd but to install steam cmd we need to download some libraries and files first all right so let's do it we need to type sudo apt get install leap 32 gcc c1 i found this information on the steam uh, site so press enter and it will download some files uh, do you want to continue type e y and uh, press enter again all right it's downloaded we also need to download other files multiverse i have no idea what it is but uh, this is a necessary thing for us and it says that this a distribution <laughs> the component is already enabled for all sources so the apt install software properties common perfect we need to just install all of these things i don't know why we need it but anyway we just need to install it all right we did it uh, now we can uh, install steam cmd but before let's create a new directory uh, this is a folder where we will keep our game files mkdir oh come on what is it mk i don't see my mkdir and uh let's name it what the hell i hit spacebar but it doesn't work all right perfect i've connected again i wanted to show you how to create a directory uh, first of all, let's type ls and we will see all files in the current directory. But if we want to create a new directory, we need to type mkdir and uh, the name of the directory. It will be, uh, just for an example, my servers. And uh, if we will type ls again, we will see that we have the, a new directory, my servers. Let's move to this directory, cd my servers i have some problems with the internet because of uh, it's raining and uh, yeah sorry for this a little bit laggy connection and we if we will type ls again we will see that we don't have any files in this directory uh we need to type pvd and it will show us uh, the current directory we need to copy this directory because uh, we will use it in the future to install steam cmd we need to type sudo apt install steam cmd hit enter uh, do you want con to continue uh, type y and hit enter it will download steam uh, you will see this uh, message you need to use arrow keys and uh, choose ok choose i agree and hit enter it will download steam cmd and now we can open it all right perfect uh, like i said before we need to um, remember this directory because uh, we want to uh, set the directory where we will keep our game files so uh, let's enter the steam that just steam cmd it will download and uh, open steam so we need to wait it's my fourth try when i'm trying to record it so i'm so f***ing tired and i will really appreciate it uh, if you will subscribe and uh, drop a comment if you have any issues you can also drop a comment and i'll try to fix it but uh, make sure that it isn't so i mean i have this vds for a month but after it i will make other things not for this game and uh, i can't help uh, forever i mean we need to move forward all right like we see uh, we open steam it uh, it says steam yeah and now we need to install our no now we need to set our uh, directory where we will keep our game files to do it we need to type force install dir uh, make sure that in it in it is in the lowercase 
Uh, here we need to type our directory that I said uh, we need to remember. My servers, uh, hit enter. It won't give you any answer. It's okay. We just need to continue to work. Uh, we need to type login anonymous. Connecting anonymously to Steam Public, okay. And uh, when we'll, we see Steam message, it's uh, okay. Perfect. Now we need to install our, our game files. I'll just type app update. And the idea of this game is 294420. You can type something like 7 days to die dedicated server and you will find an idea of this game. Um, I need to scroll down a little bit. What the hell? Where is it? The first site, I guess. And yeah, here you can find that the idea of this game is this idea. So uh, we need to hit enter and it will download our game files. Um, it will take some time for about many, for about 10 minutes. I don't know exactly, but you need to wait. App fully installed and now we can exit Steam and just type exit and hit enter. Now, if we will type ls, we will see many different files. For a start, we want to configure our uh, server config. So let's do it. We need to type nano server config dot html. HTML, I don't know. Anyway, hit enter and you will see a bunch of different settings. Uh, how to name it, how to change uh, the value. It's very simple. You use your arrow keys to uh, move in the space. And we need to change this value uh, with the purple color. Uh, just for an example, I want to set up the hardy server name, right? The hardy server and the hardy description. You can change many different settings like uh, max player count or other settings. By the way, in the previous video, I showed how to set a directory for saving files. I'm not sure, but it works uh, without it. So just hit escape two times and then X. And then it will ask you a save modified buffer. Uh, you need to press Y, press enter. All right, we did it. Uh, we saved our uh, server config file. Let's clear it and um, type it again. As the last thing we are going to do is to launch our server, but we want to launch it in another screen. To do it, we need to make a new screen. Uh, type screen uh, dash s and the name of the screen. Just for an example, seven days to die. Hit enter and uh, you will see that we uh, are using a different screen. All right, let's uh, launch our server dot slash start server dot sh. If we will hit enter, it will give us uh, an error. We need to uh, also type config file server config HTML. Perfect. Uh, it works and we need to turn back into our main screen. To do it, we need to uh, press Control A and then D. Perfect. If we will uh, type screen uh, dot ls, you will see that we have a new screen that called Seven Days to Die. I did it. So uh, we can go to this screen by typing uh, screen error uh, the number of the screen and the name of the screen. Here is it. And we also can back to main screen. Here is how it works. Uh, in fact, our server is already working and we can connect to the server. Let's try. We have the default, we have the default port of this uh, server because uh, I didn't change it. Anyway, we need to copy this uh, IP and uh, open the game. The game is loaded and now we need to click at join a game. Uh, start search. You can just type the name of the server and uh, uh, it will find your server or you can just click at connect to IP and paste your IP here and click at connect. It will connect to your server without any port forward or something like this. You just created a server and we can connect it and uh, other players uh, can connect to our server. I will show you how to work with the console the server as well. Let's do it. Um, but first, let's enter the game. Okay, it's done. 
we've connected and we can play. Perfect. Uh, how to uh, make any settings uh, by using console. Uh, so let's do it. We need to type telnet. I don't remember exactly. We need to open my site or you can just find any information in the internet. So uh, telnet localhost 8081 hit enter and you will uh, get into the console. Uh, you will see the server information that you're using for your server. We can type help to see all commands that we can use. And uh, let's just try to kill ourselves. <laughs> kill the hardy. Just to try. Uh, I killed myself, right? And uh, it works. Perfect. I can play. Other players can connect to my server. Uh, we can configure our server. And uh, here is the thing. We need to pay for it. Yep. But it works without any problems. It's a convenient way to play from two to four players. But if you have more than four players, you need to buy AVDS uh, much better with a big amount of RAM because the game is pretty complicated. All right, if you have any issues, please let me know in the comment section. I read all of the comments and I'll try to help you. I'll try to make videos about how to make d different things in this game as fast as uh, possible because I have uh, work now and uh, it isn't so much time. I can record some videos on weekends, but it takes uh, a really big amount of time. So subscribe to my channel to see more helpful videos about different video games, uh, different tutorials, how to make a server, how to set up a server and etc. Visit my website, thehardy.com to see more helpful information. I didn't set up it for 100%, but but I made this site and I, and I uploaded it. But... Alright, the Hardy was here, bye.